Ross Perot brought to me the, the problem that our Gulf War veterans were having that had come back from the early run-up uh, to the Gulf War and they had symptoms that sort of related to Lou Gehrig's disease and there was no reason for it. Um, they uh, were in great shape, they were marathon runners, they had gone into the military very healthy and they were coming back debilitated. And it was happening of course over several years. Um, so Dr. Bob Haley started doing research which was funded by Ross Perot in the beginning um, and he was beginning to try to find a causal connection between uh, exposure to sarin gas or other chemicals and these uh, symptoms. Well, it was one of the hardest things that I did when I was in the Senate because I believed in Bob Haley. I knew that Ross Perot did, and yet the Defense Department and the Department of Veterans Affairs were saying this is nonsense, it's psychosomatic, it's not related to anything, and there was no sarin gas. We took a lot of heat. We took a lot of abuse. There was a huge Washington Post article written that uh, was by a, an actual doctor who wrote it, and um, he uh, made fun of me, made fun of Ross Perot, but um, we never gave up, and neither did Bob Haley. And of course, he found the causal connection. Uh, he found it with the earmark dollars that uh, we had gotten along with what Ross Perot did from the beginning. Sticking with it has helped um, thousands of veterans probably um, who are being treated now with what we have to treat them and understanding better uh, so that we can protect future generations of people who are serving our country.